Hey guys, welcome to the first vlog of the Fashion Police Nigeria. Nigeria. I'm Ruth and this is Davis. Davis. Yes, guys. So Davis, what are we going to be talking about today? So guys, this started off as us trying to find out what trends you guys didn't want to go from 2016 into 2017. 2017. But at the end of the day, what we got were basically stuff that could never go out of style. So we are just going to be giving you guys tips, little tips and advices on how yeah. to use the stuff, like consistently still use them as we go into 2017 and not look stupid or a mess. Because the fact that people are complaining about this particular stuff just shows that people are doing it wrongly. wrongly like, like all wrong. Yeah. All shades of wrong. Wrong. Okay, so on Instagram, the first person we have here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. So, so on Instagram, the first person we have here is at Jenna in Adapte. She said, I think we should be done with the chokers already. And at Beautiful said, chokers also. Ruth, what do you think about the choker trend? Oh, I see you're wearing one. Yeah, well, not really. <laughs> not really the kind of one you're talking about. <laughs> uh, the choker trend, like you said, never going out of style. It's beautiful, absolutely lovely. Uh, lately, we've been seeing these new choker trends where people are, you know, using materials like fabric and camera and stuff. Yeah, jeans and stuff. And it's nice, but I'm actually guilty of this. <laughs> it's actually lovely when yeah. you're right. I love when it. you do it right, exactly. I'm actually guilty of this. First, I think if you want to do this, you should watch a lot of tutorials and uh -huh. see how it's done. Like, like I said, I'm guilty. I <laughs> just cut up a big chunk of material, put it around my neck. Didn't even bother to, uh, you know, learn how to close it right at the back. So it kept sliding forward and I, I think I pinned it up and it was just absolutely terrible. Oh, nice. So I, I would suggest you watch videos and just see a lot of people how they do their yeah. stuff. Come looking at a mess, you know. Okay, so basically, um, the first time I really saw this trend, I think it was on Kim Kardashian. She wore this really lovely um, jean-inspired look. It was like a strapless dress and then she had the jean choker it was yeah. gorgeous it was beautiful then she exactly. had a ponytail and then um there's this vlogger i follow on youtube her name is um oh my god what is her name zara beauty zara beauty girl hey girl yeah zara beauty thank you ruth mm -hmm. zara beauty she did something similar to that and even merged their photos together and but that particular vlog she posted was about Kim's ponytail, but she channeled the whole oh, choker thing. But it was beautiful. She did it exactly. right. She had something similar to what Ruth is wearing on an off shoulder kind of Ankara piece, yeah. and then she paired the material with it. It was nice. It was the right size. When it is cut too small, exactly too ugly, small, and then too big, uh -huh. it's you need to it find the right, the right size, right amount, especially for different neck sizes. People yeah. are different. Like your neck can be big or wider or like this so you need to find the particular and direct size that will suit your neck and you look come out looking gorgeous gorgeous, gorgeous. so many types of chokers yeah. you can rock mm -hmm. you know the velvet piece the jeans some don't fit everyone so just know what works for you basically basically and don't you try to make sure whatever you're using if it's a material make sure it's a nice material Probably exactly. it should be if nice you, material. Maybe it's if like you're wearing an Ankara piece, like exactly. what it should be a material from that piece. Don't go merge two different things. Two different things no, no, together. No, no, don't do that. Or gonna, like this, and you wear a jean choker, girl. Girl, what wrong with you? What? What? Manchester girl, don't <laughs> let us make. Don't make us come up up in there and beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna cut out a piece of material, make sure the sides are hemmed. Mm -hmm. Also, don't. Go out looking jagged like someone tore off the choker from your neck. Next we have Tons of Beauty Baby. Hey darling. Hi. Hi Tons of Beauty. She Congratulations. said. Congratulations. Congratulations in your wedding. <laughs> she said um, fake bombs. By now ladies, she would rather squat than wear fake padded ass bombs. Okay, I have an opinion about this. First of all, my view is that it's not bad. It depends on how you're using it because I used to know a girl back in those days like just two <laughs> years back she would go to the club and she'd wear like three or four sizes of pads like she'll stack them up one two three and she'll wear them and go to the club so she'll have like ass that are like three sizes not what she should originally have and that is like too much way too much too excessive i also have a friend who uses it right 
like she doesn't have hips but she has ass so she buys the ones that just have hips so she wears them to give her fittings good like fittings and dresses but the excessive ones is where there are problems with people wearing fake bombs don't wear excessive ones don't go and wear too much <laughs> well she kind of had the point though i get where you're coming from mm -hmm. true people should squat it's also healthy for you and all and mm -hmm. it actually lifts your bum up and give you a like round air bum lift, yeah. i feel uh, as opposed to wearing fake bobs, why don't you wear butt lifters? They butt could lifters. actually it's really fair. help. It could help I, you lift your Yeah, butt I have a friend. She had a butt it lifter. Out and like, whenever that. she wears it, I'm like, It'd be Whoa. really nice. Whoa. Also, uh, truth is, a lot of people with little or no bombs at all have a little bit of low self esteem. Yeah. Like, they feel like guys will talk to you if you don't have big ass and all. And I've actually okay. been in that situation before. It's really depressing, trust me. You see? So I, I feel like I get where they're coming from. So I don't think it really needs to go. But also, if you're using fake bombs, um, the Lord be with you. Do some <laughs> exercise. Use butt lifters also. Maybe fake bombs, not so much. But, you know. Yeah. Okay, so next we have here is from that black woman. Hey girl. Hey, hi. Hey, hey baby. She said off shoulders, please. <gasps> uh, Anything off shoulders needs to be. Girl, go. I'm wearing off yeah. shoulders right I'm here. Sorry. She's wearing off shoulders. You see, the problem with off shoulders is I feel like it's where you wear them to and the level and the amount of the off shoulders exactly, to it. Yeah. Like Ruth is doing it right currently. It's in the That's right amount. It's showing the right amount of skin. Like the ones you wear and your back oh, bone yeah. is showing. That is Wow, actually, girl. girl! We actually saw someone wear that to, to church. church on a Sunday, girl. What, what was your problem? You what was your problem? You could think you, you walked into the house of the Lord like that. I feel like for modern spaces like church, mm -hmm. holy places, you're gonna see your booze places you know, where you need to look responsible and exactly decent. responsible, decent. If you're gonna walk off shoulders, just a little. I don't know. Little it's, it's just too much. It's just too like much. off shoulders are a way to show skin and still be decent. Exactly, you're not going to right a club or something. Way. And yeah. also, if you don't have the right body to show, I mean, people with back cleavages. Ooh. Come on, back fat, back cleavages. What is you doing? Girl, what's your problem? Oh my goodness! Mind yourself. Thank you, girl, for that one. So the next we have is Away Love. Hey, hey Away. Away. I think you're cute <laughs> and sexy. She's been crushing on you. I told you, boy. Okay, she, he said for guys wearing jeans that are too ripped from the thighs. Okay, let's start with that one because he mentioned about three things here. Okay. So first of all, that one, I know a blogger who went to like on a vacation to Amsterdam and he wore these like really ripped jean pants, blue pants and he was in like a very residential street. He took a I saw it and I was like, this is wrong. It's not wrong cool. Venue. It's nice. It's ni to me. I feel like people maybe are like a fashion event. You want to look like high fashion and edgy and stuff like that. It's nice for that. But you need to pick your battles and pick your locations and Sorry. stuff. Like if it's for a club, I feel oh, like you're trying to be like, oh, I, I'm my style is wild or I'm crazy like this. It's cool. A party, a club at night. Events at night, I feel that is appropriate for that. But for daytime, mm. places where you are going to be bumping into responsible looking people, children, that is wrong. And you're a guy who doesn't even like the idea I of a guy showing. I don't like a guy showing too much skin. Like, I'm okay with girls. I just like a guy, just, you know, the little ripches they do. Yeah. Or they do. I feel like that's okay for a guy. Yeah. Also, I feel like if you were in a dance group. And uh -huh. then you're coming to dance, and, and then you guys wear that as a uniform. You know, I I think I get it, but personally, I don't even like when guys wear ripped jeans from the. What, what you trying to do? Like, I know the all the guys should be exposed. Please, <laughs> <laughs> pity our eyes. <laughs> ah. Okay, mm. so the next thing you mentioned here were bright colored trilby hearts. Ooh, everything I love. What is your problem, Ali? Oh, the next thing here he said is. Trilby hats, bright color trilby hats. Ooh, away, everything I love. Look at me, look at me. Mm. Anyway, this is not really that bright color. It's Actually, just like a yeah. really dim term, it's okay. But I get what he's trying to say with this one because there are guys these days who are doing this a matchy matchy thing. They wear like bright color, maybe like a pink bowler hat like this one, and then pink blazers, pink pants, and then you have like let's say green shoes. Oh my goodness. What, what are you trying to do? What's happening? Are you what's Christmas? happening? Are you Christmas? You 
it's not like a cool. Christmas tree or something. It's not nice. Like if you are doing bright colors, and maybe you want pink or red, exactly. sharp red or something that is really bright or green, or like really sharp green. Don't put something bright down. Down. Make sure it's like colors that can tone it down. Balance it out. Like balance it out. Like see, I'm putting on white and black, and my hands are black. Like you could do something like that, and then wear a red heart or really bright that's pink just color. Have one hat. pop of color. Of that's pop cool. of color. That's cool. And then the next thing he said here are blue, yellow, and green lipsticks. Okay. We know this one just started trending since Kylie's lip kits came out and everyone is all about that business right now and all. It's cool, but you have to find the balance. Also, just exactly. when we talk about the trippy hats, like balance. if you're doing a photo shoot, balance. if you're doing like um, a, a fashion event, you're going out to somewhere cool and everything, it's nice. But make sure you're not trying to do matchy matchy because some people do the eyeshadow same color, lips same color, oh. nails same color, bag same color, shoes same color. What's your problem? That is ratchetness. Ratchet. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. You I can put the pop of lips like it. with dark tones. It's nice. I don't even like um, color lipsticks except you are in a photo shoot yeah. or you are walking down the runway. Mm -hmm. For me. <laughs> I don't like it. Go stick to your red lipstick. Stick to your blue lipstick. Mm -hmm. Maybe blue. Blue is actually okay. Like if you're going to wear blue lipstick, I feel like your eyeshadow should just be left simple and have that nude. Yeah, yeah don't do like loud like like here, like here, dramatic here, dramatic here. Wear your pink mm -hmm. lipstick. Wear your red, red, red lipstick. Wear your just normally gloss. Mm -hmm. Kai even has this new uh, peach. Lip, uh Yeah, peach. Just peach. Just to the peachy peach look. It's that dirty peach trend. It's so gorgeous. Yellow girl. Green. <laughs> Okay, so well, it's weddings. thank you away for that. The next person we have on the list is Coco Ace. Coco Ace, Hi, hey hello. girl. Hey Coco. So she said niggas wearing socks and sleepers. Number one guilty person here. I am guilty <laughs> of that. I love it a lot. It happens to me like generally when I go out, I like to just wear it around and stuff like that. Yeah, I feel that's okay. Uh -huh. Like in some, they went for this fabulous, fabulous event and we did 500. Watch out, we've been block posting that. Uh -huh. So anyways, Ah, he forgot his shoes, like his sneakers, and he was, <laughs> he is rather was I mean the official blogger for the day, mm -hmm. and then he had his socks and then he wore slippers, which I thought was okay because he was running up and down, you know, trying to I take filming everywhere. He was so trying so busy, I, I, and it was done in a park. Yeah, Actually, I park. thought that was okay. It was fab, it was fabulous. Fine. These are things you remember you're going to like groceries. You're gonna yeah. get. You're, you're going, going to go grocery, grocery store. store. You're going to the get mall groceries. with family. It's, you are in your neighborhood. Cool. It's cool. You're going to chill with a friend in his house, know, in his neighborhood. Is right. But when you wear it for events, for your parties, problems? what's your problem, boy? What are you trying to prove? Oh, I can be cool in socks. No, no honey. honey. You can be cool in. Socks. You can be cool in socks and Nike slippers or pants. What is your problem? Go back home with all of their mess, lads. <laughs> if you don't wear that, just chill in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, people, exactly. like don't don't do that. Okay, thank you for that, Coco A. So the next person here we have is Lady T Cruz. Hey, hey Tanya. Hey Tanya, happy birthday, in our Arias. Oh, what's it called again? <laughs> happy birthday, in Arias. So your pictures, girl, you slide. You slide. Okay, <laughs> Tanya said ripping jeans and using it as choker. This is like back to the whole choker thing we spoke yeah. about earlier. Like just make sure. You want to rip your jeans? Ham the raw. Edges, let it look smooth, edges, let, let it, it look, look finished. finished. If they're gonna close it at the back, put a hook there, let it look good, let, let it look good. Like beautiful. Tanya is just like we mentioned earlier, she's pissed at this same show thing like everyone else just because of the messiness yeah. people are doing with so it. You're wearing the wrong this material, wrong. wrong size, wrong shape, wrong cut. Oh, Lord, Lord have mercy on you. <laughs> so the next year is Miss Kalisha, honey. She hey, is very Kalisha, your baby. buddy is awesome, girl, but yes. he was right there. Mm -hmm. So she said, I also agree with the choker thing and one more thing, men wearing flat pants. Okay, we have a major opinion about this one. Recently at the last um, Lagos Fashion and Design Week, Week yeah. um, designer Adebayo Okelawa of Hi, Orange Culture. Hey, love you. we are your favorite biggest fans right here. I love you. He did it. He wore these really big, huge flat palazzo pants. But his own, I feel, was cool because he's a designer. The event was right. The timing was right and he was yeah. the designer presenting so he didn't have time to be trying to look all sophisticated and stuff because he was going to be busy and stuff I like that. I think it's that bad. You know, the, the yeah. palazzo pants, the one yeah. that is fled from your, your um, hip here. Actually, I, I love it. I, for I me, absolutely I feel like it. it's your whole complete total package look. Like I love when me, men wear it with...